since 2016, we've been following the saga of ARM. Now, for those of you who may not remember or, or missed those videos, ARM is a UK chip manufacturing company. As I'm sure you are all very, very well aware, chip manufacturing around the world and in many countries is becoming just as important as you know a, a production of steel <laughs> you know we are need more of these microchips more than ever in fact it's very likely in your computers phones and etc or even other products you could have a a british made chip in your computer but this is an unfortunate another story of brexit because People talk about Brexit fails. Well, this is one colossal Brexit fail. And we'll get into that and why that is in the moment. But just to sort of quickly catch you up on the current goings on, at this moment in time, uh, the uh, soft, I think, it, what's the full name? SoftBank, the current or new owners of uh, the arm uh, of the company are currently trying to list the company not in the uk but in <laughs> but in on the us stock market over in new york and one of their key sightings for the reason of this is they say is they are citing the political instability think about this they are citing political instability and they are not just talking about the removal of of boris johnson they are talking about the likelihood of further political inst instability caused and going all the way back to 2016. Now, remember, this is a Japanese company. And in the past, we have covered some Japanese companies and their very, very much unwillingness to even talk about other countries' politics or what they're doing. So make no mistake, when they are saying this, this is like, the strongest condemnation of our current political instability, very much caused by Brexit, we have seen in quite some time. But this isn't the whole story, and we're going to go into that now. But before we do that, uh, please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and a one-off donation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much to all those people who do help and support the channel that way. So. Where did this all begin? Where did it start? Well, first of all, ARM is one of the very, very few um, UK technology success stories. With its home in creating in Cambridge, this is one of the main chip manufacturers for computers, industry, defense, you name it. And in 2016, the company put itself up for sale. And initially, it looked like NVIDIA may come in and buy the company. But SoftBank decided to do that instead. And at that time, there were a lot of people warning the government and warning Theresa May, saying, if you do, if you let this deal go through, you are losing a massive British company and a massive British strategic interest in this country of what this chip manufacturing actually represents. And one of the things we were warning about in 2016 was many what we called vulture uh, vulture capitalists would sweep into the UK, pick up companies like Arm and maybe others like it, and then sell off all the British assets while moving all the important stuff to maybe America or or elsewhere, basically moving jobs out of the UK ecosystem completely. And of course, in 2016, Theresa May and other Brexiteers hailed this as an endorsement for global Britain and approved the sale to the Japanese company. And since then, <laughs> it has not been a Brexit success because of their decision to move away from the London stock market to list it in America signals a lot of alarm bells that this Japanese company may just up sticks from the UK completely and move all that that industry and that industrial capacity out of the UK, well, over to America, by the looks of it. That certainly seems to be the way it's going. And people are already saying, well, guys, you were hailing this as a Brexit success. 
This is what it was said. This was a this was put forward as a vote of confidence in not only Britain's choice to do Brexit, but a place for for companies, international companies, to come and do business in. But now you've got this situation where we could lose this massive company. So this is a complete and utter disaster. And they have gone so far under Boris Johnson, even him joining himself in the lobbying efforts to try and keep them uh, listing arm in the in the London Stock Exchange rather than moving it to, to London, of using international secu the, the, uh, the Security Act to try and keep them there. But it doesn't have that. And now Truss and Kwatang are trying in fresh attempts to try and do this as well. Remember, Boris didn't succeed. So what success are they going to have? And remember, they've listed the political instability for their main reason why they are moving away. And as we've said, if they do that, this signals very, very bad news. <laughs> very, very much bad news for the, the industry currently in Cambridge and the manufacturing plant there. So make no mistake, this is a massive loss uh, for the UK and yet a very, very clear disaster for for Brexit and any Brexit bonuses going forward. Because if you were serious about wanting to keep, you know, the company here as, um, you know, as the Conservatives suddenly seem to be, back then, experts were saying, well, look, you need to put, you know, the UK needs to buy a controlling interest in it. You know, they need to buy like 30% of the interest in it. Did the Conservatives do that? Did they advocate for that? No. They're, they're, they were all about sell it, sell it. This is this is Brexit. This is Brexit in action. What a massive vote of confidence for Brexit. Because, of course, the first news of this came very much after the Brexit vote. But now, this is an absolute disaster. And they can't buy that 30% controlling it. If it was so important, then why didn't the government forbid the sale? And remember, one of the key promises of, of, of Brexit is to create the UK and make it this brand new tech hub, make it this, you know, center for innovation in and around technology. But if you lose one of the UK's only chip manufacturers, doesn't set a very good precedent for trying to do that. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And, of course, um, down below there are links to my Patreon page and a one-off donation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can, well, buy me coffee. And, of course, there's the YouTube thank you button down below as well. And, of course, the uh, YouTube subscription button down as well, where you can join the Pony Club, and you get all sorts of bells, whistles, and whatnot when you join that. But, of course, as always, uh, thank you very much to all the people who do support the channel. Even if you do, just click the like and share button. Like I say, it all helps. And, of course, as always, we'll see you all next time.